Who would you place bets on? For what? Like winning? No, for coming last. A boss of? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How much are you willing to put on that? This is not legally binding, but like twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. When I showed up to this Toronto chess bar, I wasn't expecting to play anyone rated above 1500 until I ran into Levy, who was here doing some interviews for the candidates. We hadn't planned any of this, but we ended up playing a couple of games, talked about the streaming experience, and our favorites for the candidates tournament. Hope you guys enjoy! <laughs> do you upload these to YouTube too? Sometimes I do. Right. Depends on how good the content is. You want a breath mint? Sure, I'll, I'll take a breath mint, thank you. These aren't like poison or anything, right? No. Okay. I mean, I just ate two, so probably not. Do you still play only E4? Okay, I'm gonna assume that's a yes. <laughs> just, okay. <laughs> good luck. Since you said that, I'm gonna start out with D4. Oh, wow. Yeah. I wasn't prepared for this. I got some really advanced theory waiting for you. Oh no. Okay, at least we're not playing the Karo Khan. So. It's really hard to like put my arms on the table with the microphone there. You can move the mic if you want. No, no it's, it's good. I have to refrain from playing E4. Oh, this is not fair. I have to boot up the chat too. <laughs> I'm too scared to read chat. Chat probably knows every single opening mistake. They've they've seen all of your videos. Yeah, they know how to make all the opening mistakes. Yeah. 1F5 out of a book. Chat knows what's up. Okay. This bar seriously looks ready to stage a movie. Why is it so classy? <laughs> Huge. It's the Canadian class, you know? We wouldn't get that. I'm just gonna read their chat messages out loud. Uh, That's the handicap you're giving me? Um, no, I just, you know... Crazy, this is an iPhone camera? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was with um I was with my man Sagar today and he has a Samsung Galaxy. Mm -hmm. And the camera quality is like ridiculous. Yeah. Um, I have like an iPhone 12 and the camera is not that good. I think this is sufficient for the most part, unless hmm. Is all the Nemo content filmed on this? No, it's a lot of it's filmed on my camera. Today I was not expecting you to uh, come, otherwise I would have brought a much better setup if I knew you were going to judge me. Just, I literally could not, literally don't even care. <laughs> That's a chat move. Yeah, I'm doing my best to avoid going my iPhone 15 camera rant. <laughs> it's true. So I actually usually film it on my on this phone, which is an iPhone 15. But this phone f***ing sucks. It's so bad. I never get it. The iPhone 15 is super worth skipping. What, what's, what's so bad about it? It has a non-functioning front camera. As in, it takes a picture and it's still super blurry and super grayed out. Oh wow. Yeah. And all of like the, it changed, it's a USB-C, so all of my past oh. cables and everything don't work on it. Yeah, yeah, but it's funny, when Americans complain about USB-C, Europe just laughs, right? Because they've been USB-C for like ever. It's true, but I, I got everything adapted to like the iPhone, like I got used to it, and then yeah. now I'm stuck on USB-C. How long are you going to be in Toronto for? Um, three days. Okay. I was, uh, I'm just here to interview players. And then I'm going to stay for day one and then I'm going to go home. Exciting. What's your prediction? Who do you have, who would you place bets on? 
Uh, for what? Like winning? Yes, for winning. No, for coming last. A boss of? <laughs> oh my god! That's, that's, it's a lot easier to predict who's going to be in last place than it is who's going to be in first place. Ouch! How much are you willing to put on that? I mean, I'm, this is not legally binding, but like $25,000? <laughs> I mean, he qualified by getting fourth in the World Cup, which is obviously good. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean, yeah, he's going to have a really tough time. I don't know who's the favorite. Probably Fabi by a little bit. Okay. But Hikaru's beaten Fabi, like, multiple times in these round robins. He lost to him the last candidates in the first round, right? But then he beat him in the second half, so... And then Fabi didn't end well. Okay. I... I are you just saying okay? Like, do you have any memory of this tournament? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm just, you're just like... Are you calling me out, Levy? I follow chess very closely. <laughs> Who's the fifth highest rated player in the world right now? Uh... Ali Reza? No, definitely not Ali Reza. Who is it? If you're gonna call me out, you have to be able to back it up. I think it's Ding, and I think... Uh, well, he's dropping a lot of rating after Granky, no? Ding is... No, I don't think it's rated. I don't think they rated it. Oh. It's like super weird. I think it's Ding and then fourth is um, the the goat knows your back. Okay. Um, so what I'm hearing here is Abasov is guaranteed to to end up last in the candidates yeah, and my man is pretty cooked. I mean it's gonna be pretty tough for him, but he's also like twenty six 50 feet a like yeah I mean he's he's the underdog definitely is um, all right who are your top three in the candidates I would say Fabi okay one of the Indian players probably bit it I feel like bit it has a pretty good chance maybe in third and then second I mean, I feel like Hikaru is a safe pick. I'm just gonna go with Hikaru. Right. Bobby first, Hikaru second, bid at third. Thoughts, opinions, questions, concerns? Um, I think if there's an Indian that's gonna do really, really well, it will probably be Prague. Okay, and why is that? I don't know. I, I just feel like he's like really good and and very good under pressure. But so you have I, a gut instinct. Know. I like that. But I, anything can happen. I, this tournament is like it's like one of the hardest tournaments to play, right? Because everybody's super stressed and on it's edge super and, long. Yeah. It's like one of the longer chess tournaments ever. My goal is to finally not lose to you. I mean, that's a good start because I almost went here, and then I think actually that this. this I don't even, even think that's that bad. It still would have been a dead draw. Are you baiting me? No. Yeah, this tournament is like a month long. It's very tough. You have to have like a lot of energy. Yeah. Would you say a veteran would have a better chance, or do you think, like the, like you mentioned, Frog, Frog would have a better chance of a bidding? No, I, I, I mean, I think probably a veteran, but I have like actually no idea. Like it, it really. Okay. It could be a case where youth is very important. Damn, this position is mad dumb. <laughs> what is, what is, this is like stupid. And we just sat talking and now we have to just... Are you playing for a win? Oh, fudge! Oh my god, no. Damn, that move was really dumb. That move was really dumb. No, my move You distracted like... me. No, I thought Night A4 was really good, but... For a second, I thought it was really good too. I was trying to make something happen. You said the position was boring. Just so... And now everything's messed up. Oh, I got my queen trap. No shot. You said it was boring and everything started slipping. <laughs> yep, that was pretty terrible.
After 29 moves of shuffling the pieces in a dead equal position, avoiding all the threats, all it took for me was just one mistake with knight a4, allowing the bishop sack and getting my queen trapped to completely collapse. It was pretty brutal at the end, but hope you guys enjoyed the game anyways. And if you want to support the channel, remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what your favorites for the candidates are. See you in the next one!